This is David Hofmeister's Unwind Your Mind Back to God, read by Tarana Singh. In today's episode, we continue unlearning the world with Book 2. In Chapter 2, this is Section 6. The Topic of Diet and Health Friend, I would like to ask you about diet. How important is a healthy diet while dealing with and practicing the teachings of Jesus? Is diet as everything else a matter of beliefs and perceptions about food? How do you deal with food and how big a role does food play in your life? One thing I noticed is that when I treat my body nicely and eat healthy food, it seems more pleasant to be in and I can more easily undertake spiritual practice and mind training. Can you speak about this? David The question about diet is another version of the prayer to step back and let the Holy Spirit lead the way. The curriculum is highly individualized, so I cannot speak in broad generalities about diet. It is most helpful with diet, as with all things, to be highly intuitive and thus very open to the Holy Spirit's guidance. You may use the prayer. Holy Spirit, guide my eating that I may be fed by you. Truly it is not what you eat that is most important on the spiritual journey, but who is guiding the mind is all important. It is not what you put in your mouth that defiles, but that which proceeds from an unhealed heart. Likewise, the miracle brings healing far beyond what the ego judges as healthy food. Healing always depends upon exposing and releasing the ego belief system. For thus is distorted perception healed. Problems are never in form, being always a belief in the deceived mind. The ego projected a body and food and weight issues and fitness issues, etc., to distract the mind from the light within. In the reversal of thought that the Holy Spirit sponsors, the mind is empowered as the mechanism of awakening. As you learn to think with the Holy Spirit, you will be truly healthy and vibrant and joyful and energetic. This health comes from sharing the purpose of the Holy Spirit, which is forgiveness. The body is a symbol or representation. So when you feel well, This is a sign that you are following the Holy Spirit. Let your feelings be a parameter to the voice that you are following and learn to trust the voice for God within the mind. Eat what you feel guided to eat and when you feel guided to eat. And let this be a practice of the ACIM workbook lesson. I will step back 
and let him lead the way. Workbook Lesson 155 The ego will attribute this feeling to form, as it always does. Yet, as you deepen with the Holy Spirit, it becomes more obvious that health is a decision of purpose. The form is always just a backdrop or stage. In awakening, it becomes apparent that there is nothing causative in form. This includes the body, food, exercise and the environment. Every experience is a decision of the mind. With training, the mind is consistently miracle-minded or right-minded and this state of mind is healthy. The happy dream is healthy indeed and peace of mind results from the purpose and perspective of the Holy Spirit. In quantum physics, this is called the observer. In ACIM terms, this is the dreamer. Digest the Holy Spirit's purpose in your mind and you will never hunger again.